Hi, my name is Natalie from Marigold's Loft. Today I want to show you how to create holes um, in paper for your file effects without using a hole punch. This is what you're going to need to create your holes. You're going to need a belt hole punch, a revolver head punch, your today rulers from your file effects, some paper, and a, a magazine. I use I use our advert um, pieces from the newspaper because they're kind of thick and you'll find that when you're using the belt punch you do need something that's got quite a stable background. It does help that the holes in the paper get created much more easily if you have a, a sturdier backing than if you try and punch them just with the paper alone. Right, so first you need to line your paper up with your magazine however you want to have it. I usually use it just not, not on the stapled side, on the opposite end. And then place your Today Ruler nicely over the edge. So it's basically well lined up. Let me go over here so you can see. Okay, so once you've lined up the, the paper with your lines of, of the Today Ruler, you can take your hole punch and place it securely and snugly inside the hole of your Today Ruler. And then just click. Go to the next one. And the next one. When you remove away your today paper, your, your today ruler, you'll see that your, your holes have been punched perfectly how you would like to have them. It also works with the smaller ones. This is my smaller today uh, ruler from my pocket version. And again, you can just take your punch and punch through all. one and there you have it a perfect hole maker for your file effects and like I said before it is important that you have a steady under a steady a steady background because if you try and do it on the paper alone you'll find that it does it doesn't really do much depending on if it's thick or not um, this paper is kind of thick so it does kind of work but here if I use the, a much thinner piece of paper it tends to just grab it, it doesn't actually do anything with it. So um, yeah, make sure that you have something steady behind it and off you go. That's a cheaper version of how you can create holes for your file effects. Thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon. Bye!